die nastring mense die umbilical cord? Ja, yeah. um, if you look at that, you can definitely see three blood vessels within this umbilical cord. You have, and this is what you have to know, we have the, um, there are two veins and one artery within the umbilical cord. And um, quite differently from, from, from adults and from us, the veins are the two, because there are two veins. Why two veins? Because from the mother through the placenta, you must remember the umbilical cord is attached to the placenta. And the two veins, they carry the very important oxygen and nutrients from the blood from the mother to the blood of the baby or the embryo. Just remember, the blood of the mother and the blood of the baby, they never mix. Mm. Why not? Because this fetus might have another blood group than the, that of the mother. Mm. And, um, so, and the artery, of course, that again takes away all the um, uh, waste products and a carbon dioxide from the fetus to the blood of the mother and it diffuses there. Yeah, Very important too. You should know the functions of the amnion um, and the amniotic fluid, of course, and um, it acts as a shock absorber. If a mother bumps and, you know, it's, it's a natural thing to bump against something, that is the fluid that, that protects the baby. And, um, of course, if there was no fluid in there, that embryo would not be able to move it actually practices swallowing and um, believe it or not they excrete in the fluid mm. and everything within this amniotic fluid it will go from there through the placenta to the blood of the mother and um, this this the placenta is also a very important structure Lorraine is it a prachtige photo and you can see there they clearly the placenta yeah. the nastring and then the amnion vlies see it is the amnion vlies that then now here the amnion vloeistof afskyne here you've got the placenta, a picture of the placenta, and I think you should realize that, and this is why I put in this picture, remember with that photo there you've actually seen the placenta, and this is a drawing to show you this is um, embryonic and or fetal at the later stage, rather fetal blood vessels, and this is mother blood. Can you see that there's definitely a not, no direct contact? And everything happens through diffusion and in the case of water, obviously then osmosis. The placenta, remember the corpus luteum and that we will do on Monday, secretes progesterone. But the corpus luteum can't do that for the whole nine months. So the placenta is an endocrine gland. It will secrete estrogen and progesterone. It's a microfilter to prevent certain harmful substances from entering the baby's blood. It's contact between the blood of the mother and the baby via a membrane. Just to, just to go back to yeah. the microfilter, remember, it, 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 it protects the baby from all of these substances that might harm the fetus, the developing fetus. But the HIV virus can filtrate the placenta and go to the baby. Yes, so can alcohol, so can nicotine, other drugs, so take care.